fue mi teléfono. Pensé que había sido mi teléfono, que había sonado. No, no, el mío tampoco. ¿Se me gusta your phone? No. ¿Ring? No. No. No mío. Mine's always on vibrate. Not me. One phone. Not guilty. Okay, good afternoon everyone. I um, just want to check, we've sent squad news out. I assume everyone's now received that. So you should have that on your phones, great. Um, we'll start with questions from broadcast as always. Paul from Sky will get us started, then we'll move on to the daily's briefing, which is embargo till 10.30 tonight. Paul, do you want to get us started? Cheers. Was the body language and, and that will to fight in some ways just as pleasing for you as, as the scoreline? I think uh, it was was nice to feel again um, the capacity to win and, and performance in the way that we we wanted to performance. Of course, it's, uh, now it's, we have ahead a different competition, Premier League. Uh, But in the Champions League, it was important to to get the, the, the three points, and not only if, because of the three points, if not for um, to build our uh, our confidence again and 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 start to grow in our uh, performance, and and of course um, happy for that. But we know very well that it's only a small step. How was the dinner with your players last night? No, it was very good. It was very nice. I think uh, uh, very kind from them to to invite all the coaching staff and and different people that work very close to the to the team. Um, yes, it was it was nice. Of course, it was so busy and we spent a few hours there. Um, but always nice to stay all together in different and see each other in different environment. All, always help to build that dynamic, that positive dynamic. Talk about a positive dynamic. What did it What did it help achieve? Sorry. What did it help achieve in terms of helping with the? Yes, always is. Uh, of course, you cannot measure. You cannot put a percentage of is going to help 20 percent, 30 percent, or 40 percent. These these type of details that always in all the dynamic of the group. Um, This team bonding is, is, is things that always um, uh, for the new players or for different players or for the group uh, make it stronger after this type of situation because it's not the same when you see here on the training ground every day that this is a routine when you go away, away and you spend time in different environment always appear different type of relationship uh, and always can help after on the pitch because in general when we work about team bonding is about to generate or to create something in between us in, in that in the group that you know and then help uh, to perform better or to fight in some point or to help your teammate because you know better this type of thing always are are positive never are, are negative was there much talk about football or was, was football off limits was it a purely sort of social occasion yes Of course, uh, in our table we would talk about football. 90% of the, our conversation was about football, but uh, I think for them was was nice to talk uh, in different way. And, and of course, uh, to see each other, how you dress when you go to the restaurant, when you go away, you know, always some show like this. And I think it was nice. That that's, doesn't mean that we are going to go to Anfield Sunday and going, we are going to to beat them 5 nil because we were on the on the restaurant last night all together. But for sure, in medium long term, it's going to help a lot. And just a final one on that: Did, did you how, how much did it mean to you to get the invite from the players and the fact that the players invited you and the, and the coaching? To be honest, because in five years and a half, I invite a lot. I pay a lot of dinner and lunch, and um, I think in that moment that maybe the result are not the result that the, everyone expected after the, the last season. I think it's a very good de detail for them. That that is why I am so grateful, and the staff, everyone is very grateful. And it is a build up to the game at Anfield, of course. Are you playing the title favourites this weekend? De, sorry. Uh, uh, do you think you're playing the title favourites in Liverpool this weekend? Yes, today, yes. I think Liverpool is a, is a favourite. Of course, it's so early on the season, but uh, Liverpool and Manchester City are the two clear favourites to win the, the title, of course, on the end of the season. 
what have you made of them so far this season? Where are their strengths? Where can they hurt you most? Well, I think we, we know each other because we play a lot of game. Um, but of course, that is about after is uh, uh, to, to have good, a good day, to perform as well, um, uh, and then to do what we are going to plan to do. That is the is the in football always is that is the key. Uh, that arrive the day in, in on 90 minutes you show better quality than the opponent, and of course, in that moment you have some luck in, in your side. Um, always happen in football. Of course, that we can talk about different things that we know uh, very well about day um, day strength, and and of course. Uh, they have unbelievable players and great coach, as you know very well, that I admire uh, a lot, uh, Schurgen. But, you know, on the end it's going to be like always. 90 minutes football and hope that we can perform in the way that we, we want and, and be close to win. That is the, is the key only. Manchester United last week seemed to have some joy at pushing up on the Liverpool fullbacks, Trent Alexander Arnold and, and Robertson. Is that an area that that you can look at? Is that something that other teams can find? Uh... I think we can talk a lot about different tactics. I think the most important, we use different um, plans in, 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 in uh, all the games that we play. We play with different systems. We apply different type of dynamics of the, on the game. The most important is how we are and to find a way that be solid and performance uh, is uh, rather to sing too much in Liverpool is we need to think in, in ourselves is uh, improving in all the areas that we, we uh, that we need to improve because uh, and you know me very well after five year and a half here that always our plan is 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 us and and of course care because we need to to care about the details of the opponent uh, but the most important is how we are going to approach the game. Going back to the game in Madrid. Is that something that you mentioned in your book about the Newcastle game on the final day, final day of the season a, a few years ago and how much it, it ruined your summer? I, I just was trying to get an insight into the days after that final in Madrid. What, what were those days like? Yes, you need to wait maybe a new book or, or the Amazon <laughs> documentary. <laughs> no, I think i seen is... Um, uh, I think it was, was tough because it's the, the last game of the season, playing the final of the Champions League is all or nothing, you know, and it was nothing on then. Because to be second, for, for us, that we are so competitive in football, is nothing. Uh, it means a lot for the club to arrive to the final of the Champions League, but the player or, or the coaching staff, uh, we feel empty after the, after the game. Uh, with the time you say, okay, you play the final of the Champions League, but you didn't win. And that always is going to be with you. Um, but of course, um, I think we talk a lot um, in different press conferences about my feelings after the, the final of the Champions League, but um, I think now we, we feel very um, f with full energy, very, very recovery about that situation. And now is the moment to, of course, like uh, I was in the last time, to try to to build again our confidence, our trust, uh, start to show our, our real real talent and, and potential, of course. What, what was the summer like for you then? Did, did you have the, was there anything you had? Did you try to switch off from football completely after what happened, or did you? Yeah, you need to to give me the 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 plan or, or you know the strategy how how can switch off completely. Uh, it's impossible because uh, we love football and you know you m difficult to move on. But always all is related with football. Uh, our life or my life is is about football. Football is so important. It's my priority always with my family, and you cannot switch off. You know, always uh, uh, in summer. Maybe you are in different place, but your mind always is in the same place. You can move your body and travel a lot, but your mind always is in in, in one in some point that you cannot move sometimes. Just a final question on the, after the Manchester United Liverpool game last week, uh, Roy King views on what Manchester United should do to solve their any problems, perceived problems, and go out and sign Harry Kane. From I just wanted to do, do you have a view on that? No, I, 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 
I hear uh, the, the, the comment, but of course I respect him a lot. I admire him when he was a, a player. Is this type of player that you want next to you? Or oh, I was central back in front to you, it was midfielder. And every time that I I saw him or listened to him, he's very clinical in his comment. And of course, um, he loves the, the, the good players. And Harry Kane is, is a fantastic player. And, and of course, we are more than agreed that Harry Kane deserves everything, you know? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Um, just going back to what Paul said about the Champions League final, um, Delhi said after the Red Star Belgrade game that he's still disappointed by losing that final. Do you think it's still playing on, on the minds of your players? That is, I think, is a good signal for us that the players still feel disappointed with the final. Um, because in football, um, you can play another final or you can play another game, but you never is going to play the same game or the same final. That is why it's, why it's so important for the young player to realize that to give everything every single day, and then if you lose, it's part of the game that never regret. That is the most important thing. In football, it's more important than in life. But I think in football, sometimes we don't don't realize that. When today gone, you cannot recover it, the the day that gone, you know, and and it's so important because you need to build your performance every single day. Today you need to think that you can arrive to the final of the Champions League. That is why you need to be ready. But to arrive ready for the final of the Champions League on the end of the season, you need to be care uh, careful today, and you need to care about you. You need to work so hard, but that is the most difficult sometimes, you know, because when I write the competition, you say, "Oh, I write the final now. I want to no, I'm going to sleep nine o'clock. I'm going to eat uh, properly. I'm going to want to train in proper." Yes, but you cannot recover the time that you you uh, lose, no, the wasting, no. The, um, but that, that I am talking in general, you know. What I love is. To not regret never. And say, okay, you lose the final because, or you lose a game because the, the opponent was better. But when sometimes you have that feeling, it's because, you know, that is, is the moment to improve and to learn. And always is for the young player, it's, it's so important to learn and to improve and always give your best and every single day because that is going to build after. And this, sometimes that we talk, this percentage of luck sometimes is in your side because. You were working today so hard, you know. I don't know if it's playing properly, but mm -hmm. I was a little bit trained. I just said that. Um, against Red Star Belgrade, you didn't have Toby or Danny in the squad. Are they fresh again for the weekend? Can they be back? Yes, you know that always I try to rotate when we play a lot of game, um, you know, a different player uh, we use. And of course, uh, still I didn't decide the, um, the squad and I didn't decide the starting 11 um, or the system that we are going to, to use uh, again in Liverpool. But um, tomorrow uh, I'm going to have uh, the clear ideas. Okay, Caravaggio. Um, earlier in the season, you said Tommy Pondembele was about playing at 30%, I think was the figure you used of what he can be. You have a good memory, <laughs> I don't remember, 30%? Yeah, where, where do you think he's at now? He's played very well in the week, but he's been kind of in and out. Yes, for me, how we measure the player or assess the player is when they are consistent. Um, um, it's difficult to assess the player when sometimes you play well or sometimes you don't play so well. Because you need to put everything in in in, in that uh, assessment. Because uh, depend of the competition, depend of the opponent, depend of the level of your teammate, depend of the level your level your form. And is I think um, still we cannot assess uh, him and not to say he's doing well or no or not so well. I think for me it's fantastic the thing that add to the team. I am so happy with him, like I am so happy with different players, you know. But um, still, for me, when you sign a player, and when you sign a player, despite that you pay uh, some type of amount, you know, is with the profile of the Ndombele or Lo Celso or Ryan Senor, I think you need minimum one year to assess them, or nearly one year and a half or two years. 
look strong what happened or look different player or uh, Sissoko that they start to performance in the year two, year three. And that is why when you are so young, because today the market is the market, you know, you cannot judge the player because you play some type of am amount. Is the profile of the player. And he's young, he played two years in, in, in Lyon and then moved to, to England. Everything is new, but the quality is there, like another player that only they need time to show their, their real quality. Players that have been here a bit longer, at a time that's obviously been tough in the last few weeks, do you need, say, say Eric Lamella, he's a player that battles for everything, he's quite a risk taker with his passes, how important is a player like, like that to you right now? For me, every single player is important. And of course, the most difficult thing when you have um, 28 player, big squad, um, is to find the right balance on the team. Because um, like we were talking a few press conference before, um, the most important is how you provide the, the balance to the team. Because uh, you have a lot of defensive players, but you cannot play with 11 defensive players. You have a lot of offensive players or midfielder offensive, but you need the balance when you have the ball and when you don't have the ball. You know, It's like if we assess uh, Liverpool, they have three unbelievable players, Salah, Firmino or Mané, but when they have the ball is one thing. When they don't have the ball, they need Henderson, Wijnaldum, Fabinho, Keita, you know, Milner, Olalana, or player that provide the balance. No, you know, that is the most important thing in football. That is why the balance on the squad is the most important thing. And and for us, it's always is about now uh, trying uh, from the beginning of the season to find the right balance. That is why we rotate, we change, we move players. Sometimes we play with one, with another, but always trying to find this balance that at the moment, yes, again, Red Star, uh, we show better balance, but uh, still we we need to to work a lot to try to, to be more solid. So last one for me. Uh, Ryan Sesson has been back about a week now in full training. How close is he to being maybe available to be on the bench? Yes, maybe it uh, will be available, but always um, it's the same uh, that I explained to, to them. Uh, when one is in, one is out. And if you plan uh, for him to be on the bench, we need to put someone out of the bench. Or if play, another you need to go out. And only 18 players, uh, we have, I think we are 29 no? with now with, with Michel. Um, yes, that is a, is a plan, but um, it's about to wait, to be consistent, showing his, uh, his quality, and of course, wait for his opportunity, that for sure, during one season, you are going to have the opportunity. Okay, Charlie, we've got Emma as well to ask questions, so just have one, if you don't mind. Yeah, okay, sure. Charlie, then Emma. Mm. Sorry. Uh, a lot of the fans were excited that Chelsea came on uh, midweek. Just wanted an update on how he's been setting in and I guess yeah, how close you think he is to us to really see the best of him. Yeah, he only played 10 minutes, no? I can understand. People want to see new faces. But. Uh, like I told, I, I told the last press conference, I think he needs time, like uh, Tangi or like uh, Ryan Sesenyon. Um, but I understand, of course, I understand. People want to see new faces or different player, but we have plenty of player. We have Dele, we have uh, Tangi, we have um, Christian Eriksen, we have Lamela, we have a lot of Harry Wings, we have a lot of midfielder. Uh, in, in that position, he need to wait his opportunity. Of course, the another day play ten minutes after his injury, but um, it's all about performance for sure. If he performs um, well and he show in the on the training ground that deserve to play for sure, I am um, a coach. I like always try to be fair. Okay, Emma to finish, please at the back. Thank you. Hello. Hello. So many teams have come to Anfield wanting to win and haven't managed to. What makes you think that? I think we are not different different uh, than the another. I think we are going to go there thinking the same, that we can beat them. Of course, uh, 
<laughs> we respect because they are showing great quality and good performance and great result on Anfield. That is going to be difficult, but our in our mind, in our mentality, the same. We are going to go there thinking in, that we can beat them. I guess, um, do you need a team talk ahead of this match? Do you need to motivate your players ahead of a, a match like this? As I've seen in football, no one manager, manager or coaching staff uh, thinking to motivate. When you play football and in this level, in Premier League or in Champions League, uh, if we, our job is to motivate the player, if something wrong happen, you know, on the club or in the, on the team. More, we need to provide the tools for them to perform better or to, to inspire them, uh, to prepare in a good way. But if to motivate, if someone is desmotivated because uh, play football, I think we have a big, big problem, you know? I, I don't know if you agree or not, but that is my Point, no, you know, I think you need motivation, your own motivation to come here to work, to ask me, and for me, I need my own motivation. If this guy needs to motivate me to come to be in front of you and to have put good face, you know, to answer, I think it's my motivation is to come here and explain what I need to explain. No, it's no, I don't need that someone explain in football the same. When you, you are a player, a professional player. The motivation, uh, you assume that the motivation is there. If not, we have a problem, no? Okay. If the camera's off now, please. Thank you.